Okay, it looks like I got room for one more. So I'm gonna go to March, April, and uh, we are gonna get some goodies. Um, well, I forgot to, forgot to do this part. So everything moves up. And yes, these are gonna, these, everything moves up and then this stays on. So uh, next turn, this will move up to here, and then the turn after, it'll finally come back. So we currently have zero ships coming up next turn, and we only have two ships this turn. So, but we just produced two more ships. So we have a battleship and a cruiser. So we got ourselves at least a surface fleet um, that's somewhat tangible. And if we come back over to here, these are all moving down. And then we have four infantry that became available a plane that became available, and uh, all but one are going on the west coast. And this infantry is going into Australia. So uh, that's good. And then we are going to get 23 points. But I can tell you right away, we're gonna make that 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. We're repairing everything. I know we could have waited for the uh, ships, but we're gonna repair it all. So 15 is what I'm really getting. And uh, I need seven to upgrade this, but I don't need that yet. Because now I have 14 points. I have six points of ships I can build right now. And uh, so, for example, I can build two of these battleships for three each, um, or uh, six points can get me one carrier. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the Essex class carrier going for six. So, 15 minus six is nine. I have nine left. We have a lot of infantry that we lost. Uh, here's three of them. So it's two, three, four, five, and uh, one more for six. So this is one, two, three, four points of the nine, so I have five points left. And I can save those five points for battle plans, or I can uh, get some planes out, and I'm gonna get some planes out. So here's one for three. Actually, that's all I can do. So then I have two points left that I'm gonna keep. So two supply points that I might use. We'll see. Um, I actually have a battleship and two carriers becoming available here. So I could actually, I'm going to actually have a decent navy in these in-betweens. Not super heavy, but at least decent. And off we go. Uh, no scouting this time. Uh, just going to let it be what it is. Uh, I have a marine unit here. Uh, these units are in battle. And then I totally lost this one. Would love to take it back. So it's still an option. And this one's actually completely empty. Uh, Wake Island, uh, right now, I'm not going to do anything with. I wish they had supply that they had to worry about too, but they don't. So... Uh, Here's what I'm going to do for my movement. First thing is the Australian unit's going to go to New Guinea so we can get an infantry presence there and then basically shore up our, our uh, objectives. New Caledonia is still weak. Uh, second thing is uh, I'm going to fly this Mag-13 to the Gilbert Islands to help out there. And then the third thing is I have three infantry units that I just built. Um, I'm gonna send two of them to the Marshall Islands and one of them to the Gilbert Islands because we need to take the Gilbert Islands back or we never actually took it. I have a uh, fleet, um, that's pretty strong, and they're going to come and support the Gilbert Islands because I need to open up 
a passageway through. Uh, you know what? Uh, this transport's actually going to go after Samoa. I'm taking a shot at this battalion down here that this carrier fleet's going to leave. Uh, if they don't, then I'm screwed. Let me think about this. That carrier fleet won't be the first to roll. Can I win even if I do send an infantry there? I can't win, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to go after this one. Okay, so uh, that's my plan. I don't know if it's a great plan. And... They have a whole bunch of units that can't go. This actually sometimes works out in our favor. All right, lowest number of uh, troops. Carrier Fleet 4 is full strength. Uh, Carrier Fleet 5 is full strength. Service Fleet 2 is only three units. Um, Carrier Fleet 3 is only three units. So uh, we're going to start with Service Fleet 2 and then Carrier Fleet 3. So those two first then Carrier Fleet 4, and then Carrier Fleet 5, then Iwo Jima, and then the big cluster bomb at Japan. So this thing resets to zero, and here we go. Service Fleet 2, I rolled a 10, which is a withdrawal, one closer to Japan. And uh, that means they're actually moving to here, which isn't good. <laughs> because I'm trying to land two troops there. So I just have to somehow figure out how to survive against, it's only three ships, so, but if they hit us, you know, hit, hit, I'm dead. Um, so that's gonna be a bummer, but nothing I can do about that. So we'll try to make sure that, and a withdrawal causes us to move up by one. Next thing is the carrier fleet three. I rolled an eight, which is also a withdrawal. And that means they're going to the Caroline Islands. Okay, so uh, that's straightforward. Uh, Surface Fleet 2 would have taken an infantry with them. Now, infantry can't leave an island where there's combat, so that would not have happened. So I got to take them from Japan. So two of the infantry go on to Surface Fleet 2. Carrier Fleet 3 takes an infantry, and there wasn't any available, so they're taking one from Japan. Oh, they take two from Japan. Okay, next up, Carrier Fleet 4. Just increased it by one. Seven plus one is eight. And um, when I rolled the 10, I think it was supposed to be an 11 because I keep forgetting to look at the bonus. So this is an 8. It's a withdrawal. So Carrier Fleet 4 is moving to here, and now I'm totally annihilated. This was bad, bad decision to send those infantry there. <laughs> Not happy. Okay. Carrier Fleet 4 is formidable, folks. Uh, they do take one of the um, battalions with them. And I actually have to roll for the other battalion. So this does go up by 1. That other battalion, I roll a 7, plus 1 is 8. It's withdrawing as well. So he goes... On a transport of all places to the island. And then uh, he's done, and so is this. Uh, he does cause this to go up by one. So now we're on to Carrier Fleet 5. We're adding two, so he gets an 11. He's gonna support Japanese forces ashore. So Carrier Fleet 5 is moving to here. 
and they are going to be battling our surface fleet there and they bring a battalion with them which I put on the I put it on the fleet sheet so uh, we'll take care of that later so there's going to be a big battle in the Gilbert Islands and um, we sort of knew there would be but with it being a carrier fleet I'm not gonna be able to do much against it with my surface ships so uh, I'm a little concerned um, but with the surface ships we should be able to knock out their land units and that's all it takes to win the objective so all right moving on uh, we go to Okinawa the battleship fleet oh by the way this moved up by one battleship fleet three plus two is five they're refitting and they take with them three planes and that's it battalion staying on Iwo Jima okay now we're in Japan uh, well the refit would have moved that up by two Japan five this is carrier fleet one plus two is seven they're doing a hold so that causes this to go up by four and three planes are holding with them okay next is surface fleet three rolls a 10 plus four is 14 they're going to join a battle we have two battles yes two battles so even is the Marshall Islands odd is the other I rolled Marshall so Marshall Islands now has massive massive fleets and uh, they do get to take some planes just two of them so now they control the Marshall Islands with planes even I don't like Japan okay next is surface fleet one four plus four is eight that is withdrawal which becomes a hold and they are going to hold and then take three planes with them last but not least is carrier fleet two that's a one plus a ten that's a support which they can't do so that becomes a hold and or one plus an eight is a nine that's a withdrawal which they can't do and that becomes a hold three more planes come out I'm now rolling only for planes so five plus eight is thirteen so we have two planes going east again two plus eight is ten it's a withdrawal which becomes a hold three planes are staying one last order uh, they're doing a hold again so everything else is staying in Japan so we basically have two battles both of them big one of them I have no chance in bloody hell so I'm gonna roll for that one first this is the Marshall Islands one I rolled an eight which means it's a buttload of turns I'm going to just kill my two infantry and we're going to call it a day. So uh, it does stink that I keep building them and losing them, but I'm not going to. There's nothing I can do. Those infantry wouldn't even hurt anything. I would be going up against Surface Fleet 2, which has three ships. Carrier Fleet 4, although one of them, yeah, no, cruiser, two cruisers and a, a destroyer. Carrier Fleet 4, which has... One two full strength carriers, one light carrier, a battleship and a destroyer, and then surface fleet three, which has a cruiser and a sub. So the sub would have been useless. That would have been it. Um, <laughs> everything else would have been awful. So, but what I do need to do is I need to grab the troops and make sure I land the troops. So those two troops would have landed from him. This one would have landed one, and I actually would have had one more battalion from Surface Fleet 3. So that would have been a monster battle of epic loss proportions. So I'm not gonna bother. Uh, the Gilbert Islands is where it's at. So let's do that one. This one is if the US has never held the island, 
they get two fortifications, and I think they do. And they're gonna draw two extra battle plans. Oh, that blows. Did I forget to do Gilbert Islands last time? I must have. Um, U.S. Foxholes. Transport. And then a whole bunch of surface ships. One of them a pretty badass battleship. Now for them, in this corner, oh, we also have two airfields. Um, they're gonna have two infantry. I thought I, no, I held the Marshall Islands. They need to give you tokens that, to indicate whether you've held the island. Um, Carrier Fleet 5 is not a pushover. So this isn't the easiest battles in the world, but I think I am going to hit the ground targets and hold the island. It's just a matter of surviving against their carriers. So first ship is the Kaga carrier, then the Hiryu carrier, then we have the Yamato. So Yamato has the best anti-air, so it's going to support them up in the ocean. And then the Tone is going to be here, and the Destroyer group is going to be up there. So that's the only uh, saving grace, is that um, they're really not uh, going to have a lot of ships going up against us directly. Now, their planes are going to be going up against us, and there's not going to be much we can do to stop that. Um, So they are full-blown carriers, so we're going to do that. And then that. And that's uh, what we're going to do. So let's find out how many turns this is going to be. Six is a healthy three turns. And they get, uh, they have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight troops. So they're going to get two battle plans. So here's the two battle plans. First light and artillery. The artillery actually will hurt. Um, so we have two airfields here. Uh, it would be sweet to go after a carrier of course but i'm actually going to go this one is going to go after their uh their transport and this one's going to go after the land and i have a marine on board so um i wasn't supposed to see this yet but um i don't think it's going to change much we're going to uh take uh the leathernecks which is free cost zero because we have a marine on board we're gonna take the CBs to block a hit. Um, so that's two. Am I really gonna do that? Yeah, I think I am. And then I'm gonna take the one that lets me uh, attack a second time with an infantry. Or no, I'm gonna take the one where um, my ship's surface attack that does one extra hit. Uh, oh, I actually can spend a paddle point plan points. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend, I'm going to buy three more battle plan points. So with three more, I can I can make an anti-aircraft gun do an extra hit. So I can take out their bombers. I can make our bomber if it magically hits, do two hits. That's a miracle roll, though. Or what I was thinking is we would add an artillery, which is an automatic hit for the infantry. So this costs two, and then I would have one more point left, which I can uh, do for, uh, for example, I can do a dogfight extra hit. So whenever my, my fighters do hit them, it's gonna take out, do an extra hit to them, or I can just 
do a charge and let the infantry do an extra attack. I like the dogfight one more. So there we go. Two, four, five, six. Okay. So uh, start off. Now we know their plans. They're going to get a successful infantry attack with their artillery. So our bombers, I think I already decided where those are going to go. So now we got to roll for their bombers. There's two bomber groups for them. I'm going to just roll two dice. I rolled a three and a seven. So the seven is going to go after our ships. The three is going to go after the island. So this bomber group is going after our marine. And this bomber group is going after our ships. So uh, now for their zeros, the first one is a two. So he's going over the island and I grabbed the wrong one. So that zero is going over the island. The other zero is going over. So basically uh, the full carrier group went in each direction. Okay, so that's that. Now we do dogfights. We actually have a dogfight going on because our bomber here is a combo platter guy, so he has a 6-3. So he's going to be able to go after the guys that are over our ship. So he has a 6-3, they have a 7-4. The 7-4 will be in blue. So I rolled an 8, they rolled a 3, they suck. Uh, I just took two hits and lost a plane. A really good plane that cost three. Um, I don't like that, but it is what it is. And then um, we're going to do anti-air. So we have four, three, three, and two. So we're going to do three, three, two with the blue being two. And of course the blue was the three. You suck. And then the four, I hit it with the two. So the four hits, or the, yeah, the two hits. And then I'm going to do the dogfight does, nope. I didn't do the anti-air, did I? Nope. Um, so I hit once. And unfortunately, it's going to have to be the zero. So they made it through, untouched. So they have a six and a four. The blue is the four. This is a nine and a six. OK, we got lucky. So our bomber that was going after their transport is gone. But the other bomber was going over the island. And that means that there needed to be a dogfight against us. So they have a 7-4, they rolled a 9, so that missed. So now our bomber gets to go after the island. He's rolling a 5, and of course we rolled an 8, so we missed. Oh, this is not going any way the way we went to. So then we go to naval guns. So they have a 4, they rolled a 7, that at least went our way. And then we have a 6, 4, 4, and 2. So this is the 442 with blue being two. Uh, and of course, the only three I roll is with blue. So they're all misses, and then the six hit with a one. So we do hit, and I'm gonna use the surface attack does an extra hit. So we did two hits on them. I don't know what bracket number the fortifications have. Um, but I would be able to sink a cruiser if it wasn't for those fortifications. So uh, let me check. Uh, I'm sure it's in the rules. It says discarded each time a Japanese infantry is about to suffer a hit. So it only protects the Japanese infantry. Since the brackets are two, two, and two, I'm sinking the cruiser. Screw you, cruiser. So uh, I know I'm here to, to take the island, but I probably should have taken out the fortification, but that cruiser is annoying to me. So uh, I did that, and now we move on to the infantry phase. So I have artillery, they have artillery. So they do a hit, and I'm going to hit the um, this. And I have CBs, which prevents it. So I... Per Basically, I stop their artillery, and then we have artillery, so it's going to knock out one of their fortifications. I have marines, and I rolled an eight, which misses, and then they roll two fours, and that's a five and a six, so they miss, 
and uh, it just misses all around. So uh, this guy's landing on the beach, this guy's landing on the beach, and I'm actually, you know, because I went and sank that cruiser, I probably screwed my chance of winning this island because we're now down to two turns left. So we're gonna draw two battle plans. And uh, the carrier attack, all bombers are 10. And then um, they stop one hit. That doesn't help us at all. So uh, what that means is they're going after us here. And I forgot to roll for their bombers. So they would have rolled a four and a two. Um, they would have missed. So the, uh, the blue was a four, but remember the blue is always my odd one. And then I rolled a five. So they would have missed. Okay, now we're back to the regular turn. We would do dogfight. There's no dogfight left to do. Then we're gonna do anti-air. So I have a four, three, three, and two. So three, three, two, with the blue being the exception. Um, one hit. So we knock out one of their zeros. And then uh, I do still have a four which is a miss. So now they're rolling a six, six, and four, four. So here's the six, six. There's two hits, and then the four, four. There's two misses. So I'm um, gonna hit the destroyer and our cruiser. They're both getting hit. So we are taking damage because their carriers are doing a number on us. Our bummer is gonna get to hit them well, try to. We're gonna roll for a five, and I miss. So um, that blows. I don't even have a fighter left, so this is useless. <sighs> Getting frustrated. So now we get to roll our surface attacks. I have a one, which misses. I have a two, which hits. And then I have a four, which misses and a six, which hits. So two hits on them. And we definitely need to get cracking here. So the fortification's gone and the battalion is injured. Our, um, our marine unit gets to attack. He misses and then their two fours attack. They hit twice. So I'm gonna reduce the airfield by one and then I'm gonna get rid of leather next to reduce the other hit. So we do survive but skin of her chinny chin chin, and then we go to battle turn one. Uh, they do stop a hit, so this comes back. I actually, you know what, they would have stopped a hit on the zero. That's where it would have been, so the zero comes back. Okay, two more battle plans. Adjust the battle duration by one. They do outnumber us. And then their anti-air and naval guns get a boost. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get another battle turn. So uh, for their bomber groups, this six is gonna be us, the two is the island. So uh, two of their planes are going over the island and uh, I guess the zeros only matter. Uh, one's going over us, one's going over the island. It does matter which one, um, but oh, I didn't uh, specify, so. Anyways, uh, no dog fights. Well, no, there is a dog fight. Uh, over the island, they're gonna go after our bomber. So he has a seven four and he rolled an eight. So he misses. So uh, anti-air. I have a one. I have a two. I have a four. Or no, a three. And I have a four, which does hit. So we do finally kill the zero. Not that it matters. And now they get to attack us. So they have a six and a four. The four is blue. Uh, they hit us twice. So all of our cruisers are now hit, and see their carriers are doing a number on us. Uh, they're gonna possibly sink some ships. 
And then they have a four and a two on land. Blue is the two. And those are both misses. We have a five on land and we hit. So we took out their battalion. And now we get to do surface attacks and we have a one, two, two, and a three. Here's the one, here's the two, two, and here's the three. All misses. Um, and then we get to attack with our Marines. Here's a five, that's a hit. So the Marines do damage one of their infantry and then they have a four, four, and they both miss. So Japanese do increase the battle by a turn because they outnumber us. And it's because of their planes, but they do outnumber us. So we get to go again. They are going to get extra to their bomb rolls. That's bad. And extra to their bomb rolls. They got them both in the same turn. This is awful. Okay, rolling to see where they go. Seven and ten. They're going to sink our cruisers. They're going to get all four of them. And our battleship. Because they hit a battleship here. So everybody is going here. Got a roll for the zero. Also going here. Anti-air. Two, 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 and one. So here's the three twos. And the one. All misses. So they get um, plus two on bomb rolls, so they get plus four. So the two torpedo bombers are guaranteed hits. So I got two hits, and then the two vows are an eight. And there's a two more hits. So they did four hits to us, and they sank all four of these ships. Okay, that was not good. We just lost a battleship, a very important one, a destroyer. Uh, this one is a 42 ship, so it's not replaceable. Who knows if these other ones are going to be replaceable in 44. And then we lost the Dakota, Indiana. Um, that was bad. So we've lost uh, six ships so far this year. Um, I don't think that's a good, good outing. I mean, okay, for the record, we just sank a lot of their stuff, too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, but they've just surpassed us. And it was because of that extra battle turn. Uh, we get the bomb as well, so uh, our five hits. And so we do finish off their infantry. And unfortunately, I got to get two hits on that infantry. Um, I forgot to move this guy off the beach, so we do get to do two attacks. A five and a three. I do get a hit with the two. So I needed one more turn, folks. I have him down to half a life. If my uh, my naval ships would have been around, I could have hit with them. So I'm not going to be able to resupply, and everybody's taking another damage. This is going to cost me a crap ton of supply points. And the fact that I just lost a whole surface fleet... Um, Japan just punched me in the mouth. That's no lie. I guess from an objective perspective, I'm still holding a lot of the objectives, but boy, that hurt. So the Gilbert Islands, once again, has not been taken. And once again, they're going to get a fortification. I do have them on the ropes, but I don't like that. All right, well, that was the turn, and uh, we would be moving to uh, the next turn, which I'm going to have to do tomorrow. I am out of disk space. I can't do any more recordings with this, although this did only take 34 minutes. So uh, why don't we at least try to do the manufacturing step? Um, I was feeling good, uh, but that... Uh, this... This carrier group was too much. Their bombers, once they drew those, um, those things that basically guaranteed that they would hit us, uh, that is way too much to handle. Um, I mean, I did sink one of their ships, 
And if I wouldn't have sank their ship, I actually would have destroyed their infantry. Just think about that. So I went a little greedy on the ship sinking. But you know what? Had I not sunk their ship, they would have probably damaged me more too. So it's six or one half dozen, I guess. But um, the fact that I lost all those ships is, uh, it's a sad day in America. Okay, so um, with the end of the round, I have no ships returning. These ships are all moving up to P1. P2 is gonna be completely blank. And we're gonna now start the next round. Well, hold on, we gotta do reinforcements for them. Uh, this is a five, plus 15 is 20. So yes, they're getting maximum reinforcements. At this point in the game, I'm not too concerned because they even added a rule where they get one more. So what's the point, right? There's three infantry, and there's one, two, three planes, and then a fourth one. So they're just, you know, what's another 400 planes? Okay, so they got a battleship. So I know I've sank a battleship, so they could replace this one right here. They got a destroyer. Have I sank a destroyer anywhere? Yes, I have. I'll replace that one. There's a light carrier and an escort carrier. Here's a light carrier spot. And then the escort carrier can go here. So they're almost full, all of the, uh, the fleets. Um, they just keep building them. And uh, we have to wait five, six turns for anything to come out. Um, I know there's the possibility of having free rush orders but uh, moving on to the next turn, we do get three ships that come out. All these infantry come, and the planes are full. So these three ships, uh, two carriers and a battleship are available this round. Um, that's actually, it could be strong. We have one, two, three, four, five infantry. Also strong. And uh, we get... Because it's, yeah, we're on May, June, aren't we? May, June, we get 24 points. However, I need to repair everything that got damaged, 23, 22, 21, 20. So we get 20 points. And I'm going to, I'm pretty darn sure, did I reduce it? No, I didn't. Um, I never finished that. So 20 points. We got to get some ships going. Uh, here's one, two, three, four, five. I know I say I'm going to get some ships and then I go build infantry. So this is five points of infantry. So I have 15 points for ships. And yes, we're going to get some ships going. Here's 12 points. For ships and that leaves me with three um, and this is 18 points of ships so I can't build more than a size 2 ship um, and I'm gonna spend two on a destroyer and uh, I will have one left which I will keep and now I have two in the reserve It's something. Okay, uh, I do have ships to move. I have things to do. Uh, infantry, lots of infantry to move. In fact, five of them. So what do I do? Do I try to take these objectives again separately? I think Gilbert Islands is for sure, I gotta punch Gilbert Islands hard. Uh, I'm going to send my third Marines to Samoa because I need to take that back. And I'm also going to send the 25th Infantry with them. So there's going to be two infantry uh, attacking Samoa, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to have any ship support for them. And then the other three infantry 
are going to help attack the Gilbert Islands. Um, I think I just need to concentrate my attack right now. Or, uh, or do I? I mean, I already have two infantry there and a plane. Didn't produce any planes this turn. I'm looking at Wake Island and thinking that I might have a chance to go there. Yeah, I'm going to try Wake Island with three infantry. And remember, I, I got clobbered last time, right? Because I tried to do the same thing here, and then they ended up sending three fleets of ships. So uh, this could be uh, very bad news. But I have to stop here. Um, uh, so we're going to be doing Japanese movement whenever I come back, and it's going to be tomorrow. I'm, it's, I got hours and hours of YouTube uploading to do here. And um, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I'm losing, to be quite honest. Uh, I know I'm holding on to the six objectives that I need to survive, but I'm just not getting enough supply points to make a difference. And this sheet is what's killing me. Uh, that sheet is so restrictive and it'd be like, oh, Jeff, we'll just upgrade the morale track and then you're fine. I mean, with what points? And uh, if I do that, then I don't have points to take my objectives. It's it's a real uh, head scratcher on what to do. And right now I'm fully maxed out in all three industries. I have uh, my capacity, so I would need to upgrade my industry some more to be able to build more than what I am. And so, you know, maybe that's a sign that I'm doing fine because I still have three more turns to get more points. And if you look at the C zone, I'm not going to be building any ships next turn because they're all only going to move one. The infantry is going to free up. And then from the plane perspective, I'm going to only have to spend three points there. So, I mean, I am going to get some extra supply points next turn to try to upgrade something. Um, but man, oh man, it's, it's just painful. And just even the ships I want to build are taking forever to build. Um, so uh, anyways, it's a... Uh, and what's funny... Uh, well, oh, I'm okay. I was going to say, I'm going to build all these ships whenever this group is available. Uh, next turn, if I survive this round, next turn I am going to get my big offensive powerhouse back. And then we can start um, crushing them again and sinking a bunch of their stuff. Hopefully. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching, stay awesome.